In today's small business spotlight, one man from Brooklyn is trying to change the conversation around caviar. Once considered a delicacy only for the wealthy, his new company is taking top quality caviar and making it available for everyone. Here's a look. Caviar is very instrumental in bringing people together. It's, it's kind of like a, it has a ceremony with it. it. Traditionally, people, you know, you share a tin of caviar. Um, and we're certainly, we're, we want to bolster that tradition. <laughs> How are you? I'm Craig Page. I'm the CEO and founder of Pearl Street Caviar. Let's have some caviar with these oysters. Caviar was kind of an everyday food in, in New York. Since then, it's been kind of gilded. What we're trying to do is kind of cut out the middleman, get caviar a little bit more um, well-priced and approachable to kind of more normal, everyday New Yorkers. It's good. Since last summer, we've been trying to take caviar to where caviar hasn't been before, to new audiences. We're actually in the bar behind me, the Grand Banks. Uh, we're also, we've partnered with the NBA Lab to take uh, caviar to NBA arenas. We're at the Raptors home game in these finals. Sometimes with a younger consumer, they taste the caviar and they say, oh, this is, this is grandpa's food, it's not for me. And they take their first bite and they usually want some more. In 10 years, uh, the supply of caviar will, will have um, grown significantly just because there's so many kind of sustainable aqua farms. It's just gonna be more readily available. You're gonna see it where you didn't expect it. I was with a buddy in a kind of a divey bar in Brooklyn. <laughs> the buddy actually had heard that a lot of kind of young um, NBA players were getting into caviar as kind of a delicious snack. And I was like, they're eating caviar. I've never tried caviar. What, what's the deal with this? I did a little due diligence and saw that, you know, it was still kind of being marketed as the f food of kings. You know, I learned that actually in New York, just 100 years ago, it was, it was on the street, it was in the bar, it was in that dive bar. So we're working to bring it back there. The biggest challenge is kind of the stigma. The young person eating caviar, they think that they, either they have to call their mom and say that it's a big occasion, or they feel like they might be being judged as being a little bit hoity-toity. Um, what we're trying to do is, you know, through messaging, make it so that people can unabashedly have caviar whenever they want. 